Hi, readers. I am sitting here with my reading partner, and we've been practicing a little bit of partner reading, and I wanted to talk to you about that really quick and what partner reading should look like. We have talked about who your different writing partners could be, right? We've said that it could be a grown-up or it could be a pet. It could be a person that's at home with you. Maybe you have a grown-up at home or a brother or sister. Um, reading partner can be lots of different things. So I want to show you today what reading with a partner looks like and what you should do with your partner. So first, you and your partner should sit side by side. Yep, right next to each other. Because you're going to be sharing only one book. Okay, and we put the book in the middle. So that both people can see it. See, Pig can see the book and I can see the book and we can read it together. And partners echo read or seesaw read. You know how a seesaw, one person goes down and the other one goes up and then the other one goes down and the other one goes up. We take turns, okay, like that. Partner reading can be like that too. Maybe Pig can read a page. And then I can read a page. We seesaw read. We take turns. Or we can echo read. That means I'll read a little bit and then Pig can repeat me and he can say what I say. Echo reading is a lot of fun to do with grown-ups because the grown-up can read the words and then the kid can read the same words that the grown-up said. All right, so I want you to give some partner reading. When it's partner reading time, excuse me, I want you to try doing it that way with your partner, okay? I'm gonna put my book down for now, and I'm going to put my partner down for right now so that I can share with you what else I wanna teach you about reading today, all right? Readers, yesterday we talked about how readers read a book from cover to cover, right? Do you remember that? Today I wanna teach you something else that good readers do. Do you know what else they do? Good readers read read. Can you say that? Reread. Reread means to read again. Yeah, reread means read again. I've been looking at this Beetle Alphabet book for a while. I can't wait until I can actually read it to you instead of just sharing it in a reading lesson because it is a really great book and we will get to use this as a read aloud. But what I want to show you is sometimes when you reread or when you read again, you can learn more. I was looking at this page again, even though I've already read this book from cover to cover, I can reread it again to learn more. So I was looking at this page right here and I was looking really closely. And do you know what I didn't notice before about this beetle? Look at all of these. What do you see on this page? Kind of everywhere. Yeah, they're bubbles. Hmm, I wonder why the illustrator put bubbles on this page. Hmm, kind of looks like his legs, like he's pushing them. Kind of like he's swimming. Do you think this beetle can swim? Well, then I read that the name of this beetle is an underwater beetle. It starts with U, so it says, uh, it's an underwater beetle. So yeah, this is a beetle that can swim. And I didn't know that before. When I read this book, I think I went a little bit too fast. But since I've gone back to reread, I learned more. I learned that this beetle can swim. And I didn't know that before. Now, I'm going to spend some time rereading this book again because I bet there is even more that I can learn about beetles. So I'm going to set that there for now. Readers, it's exciting to read books again and again. Just like we watch our favorite shows over and over, we re-watch them. Or we watch a movie again that we love, we do it again. Or we play games over and over that we love because they're so much fun. Books are the same way. You can reread them again and again for fun or to learn more. So for reading time today, I want you to spend about 10 minutes 
maybe rereading some of your favorite books that you've already been reading and see if you can learn more. And then get your reading partner and spend a couple minutes reading with your reading partner. Okay. All right, super readers, off you go.